have you experienced any racism yourself, either in everyday life or when you've been playing football? Um, yeah, playing football, uh, I think it was last season when we played against the Spanish team uh, for Arsenal in the Champions League. Uh, some of the fans were, were chanting some, some stuff which was, uh, you know, not nice and uh, I, I think was, you know, embarrassing for, for their team management who apologised to myself and, and a couple of other players at the end of the game. But, you know, we, we, we got on with it. We lost that game, which was even more disappointing. But, um, you know, we managed to uh, stay focused and, and, w and won the next game. So, so how, how did that make you feel at the time? Um, I think it was just, you know, angry at the time, a little bit of shock, you know, in this day and age that people were, were shouting from the stands. Um, I can't remember the words at this moment in time, but, you know, the noises and stuff like that, it was just like, you know, really, is this is this really going on? Um, but it, it actually fired me up for the game um, and made me even more uh, want to win and want to beat the team. And, um, you know, and, and it was nice that the management... Um, of their team were disgusted by it and uh, you know said that they would make sure that they uh, that they, they find the fans and, and, and eject them from the ground and, and make sure they don't come back because they're not welcome and you know he, he was really apologetic and, uh, and knew that it, there was no pace for it in his club so it's nice that you know that teams sort of see it that way and a few silly people doing silly things unfortunate but um, you know that's the way it was. So, sorry, was, that, was that a Champions League game? Yeah, yeah, it was good against Rayo Vallecano. I can't say the name properly, right, so yeah. I apologise. <laughs> and when was that? Um, yeah, last season or the season before. We've drawn them twice now, so uh, I think right. it was the season before. I can't remember the dates, but um, you know, it was it was one of those things, and unfortunate, something that um, experienced, which I haven't really experienced, um, and I, I didn't like it, but you know, it got me up for the game, and, and we made sure we uh, we beat them in the home leg. So, so what would your advice be to somebody at school, say, in a similar situation? Or, or, well, somebody who's getting racist abuse or bullying? Um, obviously, if it was in, in a school, I mean, you've got, to, you've got to tell people and you've got to tell teachers and, and you know, seek advice from adults. Um, it, it shouldn't happen and, and there's no way that you should keep it silent. Uh, you should let people know. And, um, you know, people are there that, that disagree with it, just like, uh, you know, the management of, of that club that disagreed with it and, and will make sure that things are done. What would you say to people who are giving out that sort of abuse? Um, I, I, not necessarily in football, but maybe it's at school or... Yeah, I mean, just, you know, think before, before you uh, you make comments. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily race or abuse, but any sort of abuse, um, you know, anything that you say that makes other people feel unhappy and, and sad, um, it's generally not a nice thing, and you should have a little think about it before uh, before you do it. And I'm sure you'd, you'd know deep down that it, it probably wasn't the right thing to do. And, uh, you know, we all make mistakes, and, you know, that happens. But I think if you think back to what you've done and, and realise it's the wrong thing, then, uh, you know, you can put things right.